All right, everybody, welcome back to the number one television program in the history of the entire universe. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown, all three books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today I'm going to be reviewing <clears throat> Strip Jack by Ian Rankin. This is book number four in Ian Rankin's Inspector Rebus mystery series set in Edinburgh, Scotland. I think there's about 25 some odd books in the series now, maybe a little bit more than that. I've got them all over here in my library. We've got all of the uh, Inspector Rebus books right there. So this is another series I've been collecting for, you know, some going on 30 years of my life ever since I was a young man. <clears throat> uh, just one of the good British slash Scottish slash um, mystery uh, novel series going. I mean, Ian Rankin, Inspector Rebus. I think there was even a brief television show in Britain called Inspector Rebus. I don't know how many um, years it ran. I think I watched a couple episodes of it on YouTube 10 or 15 years ago. <clears throat> anyway, so this book came out in 1992. Like I said, this is book number four in an ongoing... 25 some odd book series so it's been going for a while i mean it's still going they're still coming out um so uh inspector rebus he's kind of your typical uh police guy in scotland i mean he's got his issues he's got family issues as we learned in the first four books that i reviewed the first three i think i've re reviewed the first three books in the series and then the very last two books in the series so we're kind of wake, wake, making our way through. But anyway, in the first three books of the series, we find out that he's got family issues. He's not really that close to his brothers. Um, he, uh, he's got a drinking problem, like most all detectives have that. Um, and he's just a curmudgeonly old guy. Not an old guy. In these books, he's young. In the, in the later books, the books that are coming out now, he's pretty old. The, this is towards the beginning of his career. But he's still... <clears throat> He's a young man in a curmudgeonly old man's uh, body, if that makes sense. So this one starts off, the police are raiding an upscale brothel. Now, um, <clears throat> for most of the police, they're just like, why are we bothering? Who cares? There just happens to be one police chief that's a real sort of like, he just doesn't like that kind of thing. He doesn't like brothels. He doesn't like... Uh, He's, he's like against all of that. And so he's just, he's made it his crusade. We're going to raid this brothel. It's in an upscale neighborhood. We're going to take care of this problem. They raid the brothel. Lo and behold, inside the brothel, they find a member of parliament who is just MP is all they call. I'm like, what the fuck's MP? It just the letter M and P, they just keep calling in the MP, the MP, the MP. And I'm just like, what is MP? So for the first little while in the book, I'm just kind of like, is it one of their police detectives? Is it somebody that they work with? I mean, is it like, is it, who is an MP? But it's member, member of parliament. Would have been good if Ian Rankin would have just let every, I don't know. I'm not from Edinburgh. I don't know what MP, probably MP to the people that live on the British Isles, automatically member of parliament. For me, I'm like, what the fuck is an MP? And then they just kept mentioning he's the MP, he's the MP. And everybody seemed freaked out that this MP was in the brothel. And I'm just like, well, I don't even give flat two flying balls why he's, because I don't know what MP is. I had to do some research. It's member of parliament. <clears throat> awesome book. Awesome book. I just had, I, I was confused. I was the dumb one. Don't blame the author. Blame the stupid reader. That's what I'm saying. I was the idiot. Anyway, the MP, quote, member of parliament, is named Gregor Jack, and he's caught red-handed in this brothel. Oh, my God. And then Rebus doesn't really get assigned to that case. He gets assigned to a different case where there's been some stolen books. Uh, there's a stolen book collection. Well, it's a very, it's a very, um, prestigious uh, book collection, a noteworthy book collection, a book collection worth quite a lot of money. So now he's uh, going to different, he's going to bookstores, used bookstores to 
give a list of these books to these bookstores to say, like, hey, if, if you see any of these books, people trying to sell them, <clears throat> give the police a ring, give, a, give the police a jingle, because those are stolen books. You don't want to buy them. And so he's going there, and there's some funny scenes as he's doing this, because he's not really into it. He doesn't really want to be there. And one of the bookstores he goes to, there's a cat in the bookstore, and <laughs> for whatever reasons, cats don't like Rebus. Because everywhere he goes in this book that there's a cat, he gets attacked. It's kind of funny. I actually really enjoyed that little sort of side quest he had with the evil, villainous devil cats that were just everywhere. But that was kind of cool. Anyway, um, so anyway, um, another thing that I caught was there's a, there's a rainstorm. This is another probably Scottish thing that um, I just noticed. Kind of like MP, like I told you about the MP. I didn't know what the, that was. Well... There's a scene where there's a rainstorm and, and they just keep talking incessantly about how in Scotland the rain never falls straight down. It always falls sideways. And it reminded me of that scene in Braveheart, where, which is about Scotland, where William Wallace says, well, it's a nice Scottish rain. Well, you know, it's falling sideways. You know, he makes a joke. In Braveheart, there's a joke about the rain always falling sideways in Scotland. And I'm like... That's the second time I've heard, in my entire life, it's the second time I've heard about the rain falling sideways in Scotland. Braveheart and this book, and I'm like, people from Scotland, is that kind of a thing? Is that kind of like your national, like, saying, the rain falls sideways in Scotland? I mean, I just, I just want to know. I mean, <clears throat> I just learned about MP. I need to learn about the sideways rain. I mean, the rain falls slightly sideways in Utah once in a while, but usually it's a straight down kind of thing. The snow, though, now the snow in Utah, that sometimes blows up from the ground right into your nostrils. Sometimes it's blowing like straight sideways, and sometimes it's coming like this, and sometimes it's just fluttering like straight. The snow in Utah can come from any direction, straight up out of the ground, literally. Okay. Oh, where were we? Oh, okay, so in the course of this investigation, there's the missing books, there's the MP who's been caught in the brothel. Well, what happens is the MP, the Member of Parliament, in case you've forgotten what that stands for, the Member of Parliament has got kind of this socialite wife. She's a partier. Um, and she ends up going missing. And then her body is found brutally beaten to death um, and then we're like, okay, now what's up? Because now the MP, and if you forgot what MP means, it's the Member of Parliament. Now, if the Member of Parliament's wife, I mean, he just got caught in a brothel. Now his wife is dead. What's up with that? So we've got like a, and then there's another other other kind of mystery that's kind of intertwined with these three. And they are, are they all connected? <clears throat> well, in a in a in a in a mystery novel, like, we can we can safely assume that they might be. Um, so there's the case of the rare book, missing books. There's the uh, murder of the uh, wife of the MP, member of parliament, in case you forgot. And then it's kind of like a slow burn. This book is a real slow burn, gritty kind of police procedural with multiple sort of murders and mysteries going through it, interwoven through it, with a cast of, um, you know, villainous sort of uh subjects that may or may not be the bad guy really good i mean for such a short novel it packs a lot of a, a lot of plot in it not a lot of action is in it but there's a lot of plot and twisties and turnies and we get to see the regular cast of characters that's in the police department working side by side with rebus a good book strip jack is a really good book I give it, I was going to give it an 8.5, but I think I'm going to give it an 8 just because I still don't know what the fuck an MP is.